guys what's up it's your girl Mia Shea and welcome back to another cooking video so today we're gonna be making vegan chicken and waffles this is like one of my favorite dishes so y'all already know I gotta put y'all on so for our chicken we're gonna be using oyster mushrooms you can find these at Whole Foods, Sprouts, Trader Joe's, Stop and Shop or any international market so first up we're gonna cut them into shape what I did was cut them in a diagonal and followed the structure of the mushroom so after that we're going to wash them just as we would with our normal produce with warm water, vinegar, and lime juice. After that you want to give them a firm press down. I like to squeeze them out individually because as you guys can see they do absorb a whole lot of water. Okay so now we're going to prepare our wet and dry batter. The only difference between the two batters is that the wet batter has water added to it. Other than that, it's the exact same thing. So first we're going to be making our dry batter. So I added two cups of unbleached all-purpose flour, one fourth cup of tapioca flour, and then I seasoned it just like how my household likes it. So I advise you to do the same thing, honey. Season it how your household likes it. The same way you season that regular chicken, you're going to season the mushroom the same way because it's all about the flavor, okay? So... I repeat the same process for the wet batter as well and all I do is just add water to it as you guys can see but the consistency just has to be not too thick and not too runny because you don't want your chicken to come out doughy. You want it to have a nice texture and everything. The unbleached or purpose flour just works as a base so you can substitute this with chickpea flour or spelt flour if you like to and for the tapioca flour it just helps to give it a crunch just like regular chicken but it is a bit starchy so you don't have to use too much of it. A few tablespoons should be okay. Now let's get down to the nitty gritty okay. The process is pretty simple. All you do is place the oyster in the wet batter then you want to place it in your dry batter and then you want to give it a nice little shaping to make sure everything is evenly coated and all that good stuff. And then you want to shake off the excess flour and then you want to place it in your fryer and then boom you're going to get this delicious masterpiece right here. Y'all see that? Now we just got to get this waffle mix together. So for the batter, I use spring water, white spelt flour, cinnamon, agave, and a little bit of nutmeg. And I just whisk it up and sew it in my waffle maker. And everything came out looking nice and scrumptious. Now it's just time to play everything and make it look all pretty. And this was the final look, you guys. 10 out of 10 would totally recommend. Make sure you guys go try this right now. I'm telling y'all, it's worth it. Look at the agave drizzle, y'all. Period. So make sure you guys like, comment, and subscribe for more. And I'll be back with the next one. Peace.